So far, we have seen various applications of computers and we need to appreciate that computers and technology have impacted almost all spheres of life. Now let me ask you a question. Are computers that we use really powerful? Right now, you may have a mobile phone like this in your pocket. This one is also a computer. Is it powerful? Think for a while. All of us may think that computers are powerful devices because they can perform various tasks for us. Just look at this diagram of a computer. It says, I play a video, I can run a game, I can communicate with people far away, I am powerful. One second it says, I help you take online classes, I help you prepare your project report, I help you in watching a movie, I help you to navigate to unknown places using Google Maps, I am powerful. Let me put up this question one more time. Do you really think computers are powerful? Do you see my mobile phone here? This one is also a computer. Let me instruct this computer to turn on this light for me. Dear computer, can you please turn on this light for me? Did it follow my instruction? The answer is no. It could not understand my instructions as this device is not programmed to understand my voice command to turn on the light. Computers can do lot of things for us. They automate many things. But remember, computers are not powerful by themselves. Computers are in fact dumb. Then how do computers derive their intelligence to perform various jobs for us? Who makes them powerful? And the answer is computer programmer. Now you may think, who is this computer programmer? Computer programmer is a person that makes a dumb computer powerful by transferring intelligence to it, that is, by programming. Look at this diagram. Here, the programmer gives precise instructions to this dumb computer and that process of instructing a computer is called as programming. The instructions that are fed to a computer must be precise, crystal clear and should not have double meaning. By programming a computer, the programmer makes a dumb computer extremely powerful. Programmer in that way is like a god to a dumb computer. That's the power you get as a programmer. Using programming, one can find solutions to many real world problems, like the way Google Map helps you to navigate to unknown places. Okay, all this sounds really interesting. but how do I instruct a computer? Does it understand my instructions in English? Computers do not understand English or any other language on its own. It only understands sequences of zeros and ones. It's called binary code. All images, videos, text, softwares that you store in your computer is actually a combination of zeros and ones. But instructing a computer using sequences of zeros and ones is extremely difficult because in that case you will have to remember all the sequences of binary codes for performing different operations like addition, subtraction, division and so on. And you need to remember binary codes for alphabets A to Z, digits etc. It's really difficult to remember all the binary codes and formulate your instructions as a sequence of zeros and ones. Therefore. Computers are designed to understand programming languages. Using programming language, a programmer can communicate with a computer. You all are watching and understanding this video, hopefully, because you and I, both of us understand English, which is the mode of communication. Similarly, the mode of communication with a computer is via programming language. So, now we understand that there is a need to learn a programming language in order to instruct a computer to do our task. There are plenty of programming languages available in the market like C programming language, C++, Java, Python, PHP, Dart, Haskell, etc. In this course, we are going to learn programming using the C programming language which is one of the top programming languages. It sounds really great, but just learning a programming language will not suffice. Programming language is just a medium of instruction. To solve 
or real world problem using softwares, one needs to first formulate a solution for a problem at hand by actually applying critical thinking skills and then write a computer program for the same. It is equally important to develop computational thinking skills which will help you to represent your solutions in the form that can be effectively carried out by a computer. In this course, we will focus on learning programming skills using C programming language and we shall also work on developing computational thinking skills which is mentioned as one of the 21st century skill sets.